In this lesson, we examine the uh, use of SQL, and specifically uh, TSQL for SQL Server, to populate the uh, tree view and uh, our listing tab. And essentially, the code we want is identical to the code in Alexis, Alexa 4. And the first statement we need to add is the using system.data.sql client which uh, allows us to reference the objects that are provided by SQL Server, namely uh, SQL connection and SQL command and SQL data reader. So we go into the code for the uh, project, or for the form one, and we add this line, the same line, to the top of the file. And then the next lines we need to find the uh, connection object and we basically in Alexa 4 it said SQL connection SQL con 1 uh, equals new SQL connection and then we assigned the connection string to our known connection string and opened it with the open method and we're gonna have to break up the first line because we want the SQL connection object to be global across the whole form the whole module. So we're going to declare that at the top of the, of the module and uh, call it SQL connection shared SQL connection for the name. And then for actually instantiating it we double click on the form and go on to the uh, form load method which happens at the start of the day. And then we say shared SQL connection equals new SQL connection. And once again assign the connection string property to our connection string and do our, our open. And you'll remember that this is also where we set up the tree to have one line, uh, list all books, and a dummy note underneath it which has an asterisk. It's important later in the lesson. And the next part of Alexa 4 is we create the command object. Uh, we call it command 1, SQL command 1, set the connection to our open connection, and then assign it a command text which is the TSQL I was talking about. In this case, select asterisk from AB type, which is our table that contains all our different types. It essentially be the same as if the type button were clicked, although we're not going to deal with the buttons this lesson. We'll, we'll deal with them next lesson. And where we set that is in an event called before expand. this event happens whenever we expand the tree and what we don't want to see is the dummy node what we do want to see is all the records we read in from the database table AB type so we set up our command string in the same way we did it in Alexa 4 and we assign the command text to str SQL a variable which is set immediately above to select asterisk from AB type order by type. And the only difference from that and Alexa 4 is we added the order by type clause. And the final section of the Alexa 4 we need to emulate, uh, we instantiate an SQL data reader object based on uh, the command method execute reader and then we go through in a while loop and read each record we, we instantiated in turn. So the difference in this is pretty significant because we're going to need to do a node selected object that gets read in from the argument tree view cancel event args e which references the node that was selected for expanding and then we're going to need to check the nodes collection zero of this object to see if it has an asterisk so it's the dummy node and if that's the case 
the first thing we want to do is clear out the dummy node. So we do a node selected dot nodes dot clear method. And then we uh, instantiate the audio book type uh, data reader object. Once again from the command object execute reader which reads in all the records from the table based on that command text we set. And then we do a loop that reads in each of these records in turn. We just do a nodes add to add the node from the type field of that record to audio book type quotation mark type close quotation mark close paren. And then we need to instan uh, instantiate a, chi a node child object so it can say node child tag equals the type code field because we're going to need that later on when we're going to actually look at the audiobook records. The type code is the key to getting the correct records from the audiobooks table. So let's save this program and run it. Click on the listings tab and expand the list all books and there are types sorted in alphabetical order from 87th precinct uh, through all the way to the last one which I believe is Zen. Yeah, 87th precinct to Zen. So that's pretty cool. Basically we're using a language that embeds another language, namely TSQL, in order to interrogate the database which gives us a tremendous amount of power. So I hope you uh, learned a lot from this lesson and remember whatever you do to always focus and learn a lot. I'll see you next lesson where we're going to look at handling the uh, radio button and checkbox.